lines up the stats screen. First, real quick. It's interesting that even before starting the game, it says one loophole used. I deleted my progression file right before this. It just defaults to that. Neat. Yo, golf. Yo, muzz. <laughs> I really don't need it, it doesn't matter. It just tells you when you're still missing something somewhere, but it's not a very big game, so... It does not take very long. Oh, if only. If only the game would literally hold your hand. What is the- Eliza, you're lying. I know that's a question, but you're lying. Yo, Sarah. I know, a rare toaster stream. See, here's the thing though, Muzz and Golf aren't lying, it's just Eliza is lying. Thank you, Muzz. Eliza, I hope you enjoy those happy, happy toasts. So, the, um, this is an interesting game. Uh, also, let me know if it's too loud, I can turn it down some. Some of the... It's one of those games where there's a lot of, like, quiet atmosphere and ear, ah, atmospheric music, and then someone will scream at you really loud. Um, you know, JT and Jaya, everybody's tuning in. Oh my goodness. Um, anyway, the way this game works, uh, there's... The basic premise is we're in a crazy, like, mental hospital where the staff is torturing people. Um, we need to fail certain sections to get to locations or to pick up items of interest, as they are called. And we need to fail sections in different ways. So that way was... I failed because I tried running away from the doctor and he caught me and pacified me. This way is I lead the doctor to his office and he's... When you just go through this dialogue, he attacks you. And that's a different way, and so I'll get a different item of knowledge, they are called. You need five of them to beat the game, uh, I'm, but there are nine in total and I'm going to get all of them. It is a very pixely game. Um, this is actually a PS1... What are they called? A horror PS1 community? Like, Tori 3D uh, that Pepsi plays was also from the same... Not the same people, but the same community who makes games of this style. Yeah, horror PS1. So anyway, I've got both of the items of knowledge from this section. Now I need to go get the, uh, the unused syringe and pacify the doctor so I can take his keycard. And hopefully I'll get this on the first try. I've actually kind of struggled with it before. For some reason, sometimes he just, like, leaps out at me and I can't get him. No, there we go, I got him. Cool. Come on, gimme. But yeah, Eliza found this game a few weeks ago and was looking into speedrunning any percent. Uh, 
and I was helping her look at that. And in doing that, I found that I was kind of more interested in running 100%. Spyro is a much cuter game than this. You're right, you're right. 100% correct. Okay, so on top of the items of knowledge, another thing we need for 100% is there's this neglected patient that we need to help a few times. So I'm gonna do that right now. We need to come through here a few times. Um, and I don't think it really matters when we do this, but I'm just gonna do it now. So he needs a glass of water and it will spawn randomly somewhere. So I'm just gonna check a bunch of these rooms. It's like shining on a desk. Well, if it's there, we'll see it. Oh, that was the same room. I shouldn't have checked that again. Might be out here also. Oh, there it is. I see it in the distance. Also, if I run from him, he might call the nurse, which I don't want. So, yeah, I got it. Here you go. I'm giving it to you. There we go. I guess I just caught him at a bad time. He was... Oh? Okay, that was weird. Struggled to click on him. Anyway, now I want to get caught by the nurse here, so I'm just going to take this crowbar, and when you do that, she bursts out of a wall. Out of a wall. Out of that door, specifically. Yeah, he's, he's speedy. So now we're in Electroshock. There are a couple of items of knowledge we want to get here. I think first I'm just going to go through with the Electroshock Therapy, that's one of them. Yeah, I think I'll start with that. So we need to uh, read that sign first and then Nurse Anne will show up. Uh, I expect this to take, I mean less than an hour. Um, in the ballpark of 40 minutes to an hour. So anyway, Anne's gonna say, like, I'll just chill here for a minute, and, uh, and I'll be back, and so I am just gonna wait for her. Actually gonna wait a little bit closer, just so she doesn't have to, uh, walk as far to get back to me. You should be coming. <laughs> boo toaster. Why boo? Zappy. Okay. Then I should be here, and I need to go through most of this section actually to uh, to get to the next note. So I've actually been skipping something entirely, but there the reason this is called the Heilwald loophole is there are these holes in the ground that it calls loopholes, which is the, like, mystical reason that you can be redoing sections. Uh, and it's these. Normally, it's faster to just, like, pause and leave and return here through the main menu, but since that note is right next to, uh... right next to that, uh... that loophole, that's, that's what I do. Is it... is it herbs, Eliza? Gonna do a little bit of enemy manipulation, or AI manipulation, rather. So, normally if you run from her, she chases you, but because we haven't even done the first dialogue yet, she doesn't yet. Uh, wait, I expected her to be in here. Where is she? 
Okay, whatever. Maybe I just didn't see her. Chibi Robo? You have a couple in the queue, actually. So what we do is we grab the maintenance key so we can run back here and turn off the electroshock machine. And then what happens is as we come back, uh, she tries to take us to electroshock and she'll be like, oh, the machine's not working. Let me, let me see if I can fix it. So yeah, we go in here and sit down for her. Oh, you did just redeem one, didn't you? What did you redeem? I didn't put it on the list yet. Was it the one hour to live game? Was it that one? Uh, we're also going to do a glitch here. This is actually one of the more interesting parts of the run. And this is useful in any percent, too, when Eliza and I were looking at that. So you're going to hear a shock sound. And that's Nurse Anne getting sh shocked by the machine. And normally you pick up this key card and then leave the area, but if we run back through these hallways again, the game registers the checkpoints we're running through, and it's like, oh, they must be back on the part where Nurse Anne is about to get up and come help you through the machines or whatever. So Nurse Anne is back up now. And now I want to run from her, and now she, cap she captures me and I get another item of knowledge. But I also have the key card from this area. One hour, one life. That's it. I watched like 15 minutes of a video of it. It looked pretty cool. Okay, so that's the electroshock ward. Let's go back to the sick bay, or the sick ward. Um... Now, this time, I want to be considered not dangerous, but just annoying to Nurse Heideltrout. So I'm going to go over here and ring the bell. And she's going to be like, Grr, why did you do that? She should spawn over here, I think? Was it... Was it not over here? I did ring the bell because I heard the music change. I hear her stomping. Her stompy feeties. There she is. Come here. So now we're in the cafeteria. The cafeteria is really messed up. There's uh, a guy, Mr. Fleisch Soup, who is a man who is cursed to live in a pot as a soup and he serves soup out of the pot that he lives in. It's gross. It's real gross. This is a gross game. Just warning to everybody. Uh, normally you can look through that vent hole and see the pot moving, but we just kind of ignore that for now. There's something else I need to do here, though. I need to read this bulletin board to see whose birthday it is, because it's Doku's birthday and we need to know that. We gotta celebrate a couple of birthdays in this game, it's great. One of them we're gonna celebrate right now, the other we celebrate a little later. So there are also two items of knowledge here. One of them is for getting caught by Fleisch Soup. The other is for uh, eating the Fleisch Soup. However, if we talk to this guy, he tells us that the Fleisch Soup is disgusting and he suggests we try to season it. Chili powder, rosemary, and pepper. And we need to do these one at a time. Chili powder, rosemary, pepper. Chili, rosemary, pepper. Chili powder. Okay. Chili powder, rosemary, pepper. Also, there's these plugs around that uh, exist. Where? Wait, I hear him. Oh god, I thought he was gonna come from the other way. That's not fair. That's not that's not fair. Stop it. Rosemary pepper. Rosemary pepper. Rosemary. 
And that's where Pepper will be in a second. Nope, 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 nope. Oh, I'm not doing this very well. It's not hard to do this without him seeing you at all. I'm just screwing up. Also, can someone redeem a no swearing? Because he is yelling, don't you effing season me. Oh god! Did I get that last one? I can't tell. I, I'm actually not sure. I, I think I did. I think I got it. I'm good. It's fine. Let's go sit. If we did it right, we will see that paper crown that the happy birthday patient is wearing will be in the next area. Yeah, I mean, to be fair, Golf, how would you feel if you had to live in a soup pot and people kept coming over and seasoning the soup of your body? I don't know, personally, I would feel... Oh yeah, we did it, cool. I would feel similar to if people just, like, ran up and used deodorant on me. It'd be kind of insulting. Okay. We go back to the cafeteria. And now we get caught by flush soup. Don't you ever sit like that, Golf? That can be a comfy way to sit, I don't know. It's a very strange game, it is. I have really enjoyed looking at it with Eliza, it's been a lot of fun. So this time we just want to get caught by flesh soup. And we end up in the sick ward again, I believe? Oh, come on. Come here. Come here, buddy. Not the sick ward. Uh, it, I don't know what to call it. It's like a secondary sick bay, sick ward, where, where items of knowledge come up. And then it's gonna be in the vents. Over here, I think? Yeah. Uh, no, he just, like, runs over you. <laughs> you know, normal stuff. Okay, so now we're gonna finish at the sick ward. Uh, this time we want to get the crowbar again, but we want to use it to leave. Uh, we got the keycard from Nurse Anne earlier in the electroshock ward. That was needed as well. But after using the keycard, there's a bunch of boarded up doors and we need the crowbar to get through that. There is a way to just, like, manipulate her AI so you can run around her. I don't really know how to do that, but you're faster than her, so I just go this way. I say I as if I've done this in practice a bunch. I watched Eliza play this a bunch, and then I have played this game all the way through one time. <laughs> Okay, in this next area, we are first going to talk to the neglected patient again, because he lost his gold pocket watch. And then, we're going to meet... Maybe not my favorite character in the game, but one of the better characters in this game, the garbage collector. So, neglected patient, I believe, is over here? Yeah, right there. I don't know if we actually have to sit through all of this dialogue, but I am. I'm also... oh, maybe we have to see the garbage collector before we can start collecting garbage. Basically, his thing is... he's right here, he's this guy. Uh, his thing is... He, uh, hates all of the food here, because, I mean, we met Fleisch Soup, right? Uh, who wouldn't hate that? So he eats garbage out in the courtyard instead. And we need to give him some trash, and then we need to follow him, and he will go get the pocket watch.
Trash collector's great. We love them. But yeah, he's like, great, let's go see what we can find. And he's really slow. But we like him and we'll follow him. Is he following me or am I following him? I think he's following me. There's like a big pile of trash. Do I take him over here? I've only done this once. I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, seriously, garbage collector. Watch that potty mouse. Would you look at that? The pocket watch. We're gonna take this back to the neglected patient. And then I suppose we'll go over to the bathhouse next? We can do that next. Another thing we need to do is, um... We need to talk to the garbage collector a few times. The trash collector. Uh, one of the things for 100% completion is every time you give him trash, he tells you some of his thoughts about the place we're in. And, yeah, for 100% you need all of them. The bathhouse. So, after... there are three uh, items of knowledge here. The last three, actually. And there's also a key card here we need. Um, this is Wolfram. We don't like Wolfram. He's kind of a jerk. Um, but yeah, after we do all of these... Or after we do each of these, rather, we go back to the courtyard to talk to the trash collector again. Geef, clearly. Don't run in the showers, that's dangerous. Uh, the neglected patient's third and final thing is over here. The screen blacking out is normal. That's part of this section. I'm kind of surprised I was able to run in the dark like that. Yep. Uh, he made a giant poop sculpture, sculpture for us because he's actually an artist. Isn't he great? Now, Wolfram is going to be around somewhere. I don't know where, but ideally, we can go get the key card before he captures it. Oh, no, never mind. This is fine, actually. This is fine, too. This is better than the first time I played this, where I ran and got the key card and then just couldn't find him, which was much worse. Now, in this section, Wolfram has a giant head and is scary, uh, and he's trying to clean us because we didn't take a shower. That's why he's here. Um, he might jump out at us here. He's kind of terrifying, actually. You'll see what I mean. Yeah, there he is. Uh, yep. But it's fine. We got it. We got the key. And we're out of here. This went better than I expected. Here's the document. We're gonna go here and go to the courtyard, like I said. I mean, he's definitely abusing the patients. Like, without a doubt and unambiguously. I don't think I need to talk to the trash collector. I think as soon as I give him the trash, it's fine. I'm pretty sure it's fine. Next time I pause and exit out, I will check. I will check my stats page and make sure it's giving me those. So this time, we want to start the sequence, but we do take a shower. Um, but again, hopefully we'll be able to get Wolfram's key here before he catches us. So we take a shower. Isn't that a good shower we're taking? Taking all the showers. No one can stop us. 
Gonna get this far and it's gonna be like, oh, blacking out, what happened? And then Wolfram should be going to his office. Or coming from his office. I don't really have a great sense of direction in this area, to be honest. I'm not 100% sure where it is. No, it's over here. We're good. So we're going to go here. We're going to get this key, the purple key card. And then we're going to try to find Wolfram. And hopefully he'll just, like, find us really quick. Because we want him to catch us again. There he is. That was actually fine. Seriously, the first time I played this, I, I lost him. I couldn't find him. I was running around here for minutes. I had no idea where he was. And I eventually gave up and just left after getting the key card. But this was better. This was better than that. In this area, we need to start this pump. Uh, there's another creepy thing here. There's a guy with a fountain for a head. Like a spout, a spigot. We need to get him to run into that bar. Uh, he runs away from us. So we just need to approach him the right way. And he'll run into it. And when we do that, we turn off the valves on his arms. I feel bad for him. I feel really bad for this guy. Like, he just looks like he's in pain. They made him really kind of disturbing in a beautiful, horrifying way. And that's the other arm, and now the pump can actually start being effective. And then the way out, I believe, is this way? Yeah, it's right here. Courtyard again. There's the trash collector. I'm just gonna wait for the dialogue to start. That should be good enough. Okay, and then the last thing here is before getting to the blackout thing, we just get Wolfram to come chase us. gonna run in place while I undress. There we go. Now luckily with this, I think we can just like run and he'll go at us. Maybe not. Oh, maybe I talk to him and then run. There we go, that's it. That does it, okay. Okay, I believe this item of knowledge is downstairs. Oh, it's the last one, actually. This is 9 out of 9. It's right here. Yeah. Okay, so on the main menu, I'm losing time by doing this, but I just want to make sure that I'm getting the, the Trash Collector's Thoughts. Trash Collector's Thoughts, 2 out of 5? Okay, that's not as many as I expected to have. But I am getting some... It doesn't lose a lot of time to just return to the courtyard. Yeah, golden toilets we're going to start getting soon. Oh, take the trash. Two out of five might be right, actually. That, that might just be correct. I am back, trash collector, you're right. Okay, now we're going... We want to go to the library, but we start by going to the attic so we can get to the library because the library is locked off. Because Dr. Hauser, who runs the library, is crazy and possessive. 
Uh, so you may remember earlier I read a bulletin board that said whose birthdays it was. One of those birthdays is Doku over here, who I'm going to get a quick glimpse at, but we don't need to talk to him. We actually don't need to talk to him. The any percent record, he was like crouching in the corner there. The any percent record talks to him, and you don't need to. That's just time loss. Uh, Doku's sad because he said he lost Gregory. He doesn't know where Gregory is. And, uh, well, we have... If you talk to the uh, the trash collector a bunch, the trash collector will have mentioned that Dr. Hauser, this weirdo right here, keeps taking lost things and insisting that they are his now. And if you try taking them, he will claim that you're stealing from him. Um, so spoiler alert, he took Gregory. And we need to get Gregory back from him. It's Doku's birthday after all. As weird and disturbing as this game is, uh, it is kind of sweet and cute in a lot of ways, and one of them is this thing with Doku and Gregory. So, Dr. Hauser is maybe a ghost? Not like canon in the game, but that's my canon. He keeps jumping in front of you, just like teleporting. So I say he's a ghost. Also, if you let him follow you to the end of the path here, he just vanishes. Classic ghost behavior, let's be honest. Okay, so here's Gregory. And I love this line. What a huge lad! Eliza and I have been quoting that at each other a lot lately. <laughs> what a huge lad. Okay, now we get around Dr. Hauser and we can just leave. It's true, Sarah. Birthdays are very powerful things, and it's all because of this game. Someone in this game used their birthday wish to make birthday wishes a thing, dating back to the start of history. And God was like, yeah, you got me, I can't do anything about that, sure. Dr. Hauser's first name should be Doogie. I didn't even think about that. So here's Doku, and we're gonna give him Gregory. Oh, I gave him the crown, too! Oh, I didn't know that happened! Okay, I thought that happened later, actually. Gregory! I can't believe you found him! He actually was in the attic? He was, Doku, it's true! I will not be happy. Okay, so I thought we had to give him the crown separately later, but I'm fine with him having the crown now, that counts. So we're gonna leave the area, go back to the courtyard, give trash to him again. This should be four. Uh, and then, actually no, I don't need to leave, I can just run back into the bibliotheque. We're gonna go into the attic again, and this time we need to get caught by Hauser. Um, we don't get an item of knowledge from being caught but it is necessary to enter the library. When he thinks we're stealing, he attacks us and tries to hit us with his cane, but just kind of breaks the floor. Doogie Hauser was a... I want to say it was a comedy. I've never actually seen the show, but I can't imagine this not being a comedy. Do you know who Neil Patrick Harris is? It was like his big first role in media, he played a kid doctor on a TV show. I don't think it was the 70s. Neil Patrick Harris is too young to have been on a 70s show. But maybe like late 80s. I guess I don't really know when it was, I'm just guessing. But yeah, he was like a kid doctor. Oh actually, you know what, it was the 90s, because The Simpsons references it. I just remembered that. In the episode where Bart is working from the for the mob, uh, there's a bit where they make a TV movie about Bart, and they say that Bart is played by TV's Doogie Howser, and that would have been 92, 93? Yeah, we just get caught by him here. He did, yeah, that's Neil Patrick Harris. Yeah, Barney and How I Met Your Mother, that was another big thing of his, and he was in 
Dr. Horrible sing along vlog. He's been in other things. Okay, so we are now in the library. He was really good in a uh, series of unfortunate events. I really liked him as Count Olaf. Do, 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 do. Library. Uh, Doku's hanging out in the walls because he's cool and scared. But it's his birthday. He's alarmed and worried about us, but he's got that birthday cap on. We love Doku. Doku's great. We need to talk to him there and then talk to him here. We were getting the items of knowledge to place them in this uh, statue. And that gets us the red key card. And then, in any percent, we would just quit and leave, but in a hundred percent, get ready for the first golden toilet. There it is! And then we leave. Um, stats page. How many times have we talked to Trash Man now? Should be four. Good. That's perfect. Okay, so play and continue. And go back to the courtyard. I'm just happy it was counting all of those. I wanted to make sure. I wasn't positive about that. It would suck if we got to the end and the game was like, no, you only got like three of these. Okay, that should be all of them. The red key card that we got in the last room in the library we're gonna use on that gate, so we are right where we wanna be. That should be fine. Somebody in the hospital's played a lot of getting over it? Maybe, maybe. Uh, here the game is like, oh, everything's locked, but what? The door flew open! This is like a crazy dream sequence weird thing. Um, and my favorite part of this sequence is we can't sprint here. Also, I don't have much of a mental map of this area, so I, um, I'll be kind of bumping into walls a lot. But yeah, to uh, sprint in this game, you need to hold the shift button. And I don't usually like holding the shift button in a WASD controlled game, because that means my pinky is, like, stressed down for <laughs> an hour or whatever. But luckily in this section we can't sprint, so I don't have to be using my pinky all the time. any game developers happen to be watching this in the future for some reason, please allow actions like tog like uh, running to be toggleable instead of something you need to hold. Uh, if you can rebind it, I think it would have to be outside the bounds of the game. I could... I only plan to do this one run, so it's not a huge deal, but I, I just don't like when games do that. Ah, oh, that's right, it's right here. So those uh, big, like, corks that were taped to the wall, I've glanced at a couple of them. Um, there's one over here that isn't taped down, and we get some lore of the game here uh, that we're actually kind of mostly going to skip because we don't pay attention. But... We, we also can't skip this dialogue because this is actually voice acted. Um, but yeah, basically there's evil supernatural stuff going on here. We need to, in a second here, go through this door and match each hospital staff member to like the sin that they have committed or whatever. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's actually a bunch of patterns for uh, for this room that work. Basically, we have a set of four options and six statues, and uh, 
there's a bunch of patterns that work, but the one that seems to be fastest is 222114. And then we go back to the cork and talk to it. Uh, this is a spooky, scary uh, PS1 style horror game made by one person. There we go. Uh, also, get ready because the second golden toilet is coming up. We go through this area and the voice is like, oh god, someone's coming, you gotta watch out. And you hear the stomping around. And it's scary, and it's terrifying. And you get through it, and after a point, the stomping starts getting louder and louder. Listen. If you didn't notice, I turned around, uh, and if you turn around to the second golden toilet's right there, nothing is chasing you. No, there's a, there's a community called the Horror PS1 Community. They make horror-type PS1-type games. There's a lot of games like this. There's a whole community of people who make games like this. It's not like they're trying to build actual PS1 games. It's mostly just like in the graphics style. Uh, here is one of the few nice staff members. This is Nurse Helen. Uh, but she's very, very busy because Nurse Astrid has disappeared. Um, we're supposed to do some stuff to find out that her break is at 10 p.m., but we just set the clock to 10 and wait. We will get back to Nurse Astrid in a minute. Some of the documents that we were picking up said that Nurse Astrid was uh, fired but then disappeared uh, after she reported Wolfram for abusing patients. This game honestly has good lore. I like this game. <laughs> Uh, we're kind of hoping for good RNG here, because once her break starts, she starts moving really slow. Oh, she's like on the other side of the room. I mean, not really slow, but if she was like right here when her break started, that would be much better. But yeah, she's, she's sad because she's so busy and has no idea where her other nurse friend is. And so we're going to help her get some medications that she needs for the patients. Uh, this is a horror game. I, I think I would just call it a horror game, rather than a parody game. I mean, it's got some goofy elements, but I don't know, like, so did Silent Hill. I don't think that's necessarily a flaw. Okay, so this is the trash yard. It smells terrible here. And we're going to run into our favorite trash collector again, and he's going to tell us about a special type of trash that he he wants. He wants the... Right, he's like looking for medicine, he's like, I guess I can help you, but for a price. Aha! Super King for packaging. So he's looking for plastic. There's three types of like spe right, special trash here. There's glass and organic and plastic, and he will ask for either the organic or the plastic. And uh, plastic is from the yellow bin. <clears throat> if you give him the glass, I believe, uh, it kills him. And there's an achievement for that, and I refuse to get that achievement, because I, I don't want to kill him. I like him. I like the trash collector. He's cool. I'm not getting the achievement. I don't need it, and we don't need it for 100%.
trash collector. Thank you, thank you. Climb inside. Medication. Leave. And then we go right back to the patient hall. Yeah, I'm only gonna do this once. I don't I don't really care about optimizing it. If we find a massive skip, then maybe, but I don't really care about optimizing it. Like optimizing movement or anything. I just want to have a, a halfway decent run with the knowledge I have on the board so other people can see it. Because I think it's important if there's a world record to put it on a leaderboard. Don't you guys think that? What do you guys think about that? Ah, uh, no. The matches are over here. Right there. Oh, right. I need to click on it twice. I always forget that. So yeah, this is a dark area. And we can't continue unless we light the lamps. Right, this wrong room. I keep getting turned around here. Ah, uh, there it is. Oh no, that's the last one, and there's an arm sticking out there. Uh, oh, here it is. There are a lot of jump scares. I'm running past them. I'm running past them because I know where they are, so I don't need to look at them. You just missed one, actually, because you weren't looking. It, I saw it out of the corner of the screen. Uh, but anyway, oh no, there's a key here I need, that's right. Anyway, we saw the medicine through the, uh, the window there, but something in an iron lung ran over and took it. And so it's like, uh-oh, what is this thing? What's happening? And we run over here, and it's spooky and it's scary. We don't know what we're gonna find. And we turn around, and here it is. And it's sad, and I'm leaving, but it's implied that that's Nurse Astrid. that they put her in an iron lung and stuck her in the old ward, even though she just wanted to help the patients. It's really sad. I have the medicine. We do need a break, I agree, Helen. Where's the next golden toilet? Next room. The third and final one is in the next area. <clears throat> We're almost done with the game, actually. We're really close to the end. Uh, we can walk with Helen over to the corner and have a nice conversation with her, but we don't need to for 100% sadly. There's the last golden toilet. Uh, there we go. That's all three of them. Helen does live. Um, so this is the dental clinic of the hospital grounds. So of everything else that we have, let's go to a dentist's office. That'll be fun and pleasant, won't it? I do not plan on defending world record, no. So once we come in here, we can just run back out and the nurse should show up. This is Sabine. Once we start talking to her, it opens up the door and we can run to the end. Um, we can peek out of bounds here because the ceiling wasn't finished. Haha. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. It 
Sabine should be chasing us. There she is. Okay. Uh, this is kind of gross. They put, like, a device on her head to apply pressure for some evil reason. And the scene it plays is kind of gross. Just warning everyone. We're really close to the end of the game, but we're not gonna sub 50. We're not that close. Maybe like a 51, a 52, something like that. Right, I forgot I can skip through that dialogue. Sabine, why? What am I doing after I complete the run? Um, I might show you the only out of bounds we know about. Uh, and then I'm gonna stop. <laughs> That's it. Why is our head getting crushed? I really don't have a reason. I wish I did. <laughs> I should stop in a second here, though. There it is. Okay, so she's like, okay, so now Dr. Randolph's gonna come here. Yes, Helen lives. Well, I don't know, maybe the whole hospital blows up, it's hard to say. So the doctor's gonna show up, that's Dr. Randolph now. He was the guy at the start of the game, you remember him. You remember Dr. Randolph. Uh, so the spooky... Ominous voice, that's what it's called. We'll start talking to us. Uh, after the ominous voice finishes, the a loophole will appear in front of the chair, and we just need to be like looking away from it when it wants to spawn, and then we can look over at it. And when that happens, we guide Randolph over to it. Randolph can't hurt us, by the way. He'll like chase at us, but he can't do anything. Does it? Please? Does it? There it is. Okay, come on, Randolph. Yeah, yeah, come at us. Okay, and then time is when the screen goes black. Fifty-one forty-eight. Uh, it's a spooky hospital that used some kind of supernatural elements to try to, like, do testing on its patients, but the staff got corrupted with it. That's the story. <laughs> I've still never played Silent Hill. I want to, it's it's on my list of games I want to play at some point. I think I would enjoy it. So yeah, created by one person. Uh, play tested by one person. And then some special thanks. So after this, it'll show us the stats page where it should say that we got everything. And if it doesn't, we've got problems, but it should say we've got everything. One hundred percent, we're good. Nine out of nine, three out of three, two out of two, five out of five, three out of three. IGT 3210. Interesting.
20 minutes of of non IGT so real quick I'm gonna show the one out of bounds we know about you may have noticed that this game doesn't have any jumping uh, it's just running crouching and moving so like for the most part it's not like a game that is easy to break although we have been looking uh, but I did find something today that is totally useless but I thought it was interesting um, it's in the like jail side area which I think this is probably the fastest way to get there I don't know So, I didn't do much here, I just grabbed the things and left, but normally if you're not pausing to leave, there's a lever here that you hit to open this door, and there's a loophole on the other side. And when I was running over to it earlier today, I found out that this wall just doesn't have collision. Just walk right through it. <laughs> I haven't really tried doing anything with this, because, uh... I mean, again, this isn't a helpful area, and also we can't jump, so if we fall, it's like, whoops, we fell! That's it. Bye. That's the run. <laughs> I think this sky is pretty, though. I think this sky is really pretty. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, that's the game. I think it's a fun game. I think it's a cool game. Some good jump scares, some good atmosphere. Characters I genuinely liked. Good game. <laughs>